Hey, I reminded myself about this old project of mine. It's a robot hat. I've made it for some conference. It was used three times um, and spent last years in the storage. Uh, it's, it's four servos. It moves uh, left and right, uh, up and down. The jaw is moving and the eyes uh, change the, the mood of the face. And I thought I could give it a spin uh, due to the face tracking app I have lately, but it's, it's Arduino based. There's an Arduino board inside. And if I would like to switch it to the micro bit, I would need some more power for the servos. So I would have to use something like this, like this adapter uh, and rip off the Arduino, put the micro bit inside. Uh, it's a bit of a hassle, maybe too, too much work. So maybe the better way would be to make the Arduino version of, of the face tracking app. It might be useful later on. And let's see if we can give it a go. In case you are wondering the geeky stuff, um, face tracking app is a simple, plain, static HTML website. Uh, it has like four main components. The first one is a media pipe uh, library which provides face tracking algorithm uh, and it's used out of the box and this library provides this um, coordinates of these points of face landmarks that you can see drawn upon my face and this drawing of these points is done by the p5.js library uh, which is a very nice easy tool to to do some uh, multimedia audio video uh, wizardry on, on the html website and then um, the face tracking library provides only these landmarks, this, this 3D mesh of points of my face. And some math had to be done to calculate uh, the actual position of the face, the uh, vertical, horizontal position, distance, yaw, pitch and roll, and mouth openness from this mesh of points. And at first I thought it will be uh, quite a complicated task, but... Uh, it came out that all of this heavy lifting, this calculation was done by the chat GPT. I simply asked him to, to provide such fun functions about the conditions that I have. I, I use this library. Here we have the points. Uh, the face landmarks give me the functions how to calculate the face rotation from it. And it has done it right away. So if you still haven't tried coding with the uh, help of an AI chatbot, go on. It's nothing sort of a magical experience, really. It's like talking to a coding friend who knows almost everything and do this with a click of a finger. So I have this static website. Uh, everything that goes into calculating the face tracking is remains the same. If I want to turn it into an Arduino web app, I simply have to replace this script, which provides the Bluetooth connection for the micro bit and sending the data to the micro bit over Bluetooth serial port. And as you may know, the Arduino board does not have the Bluetooth capabilities on its own. So we have to use some kind of a Bluetooth module. Uh, this is an HM10 clone, the, the most popular uh, Arduino Bluetooth 4.0 module. Th this one is MLTBT04. Um, I think you can get them and everywhere uh, around the world and they are most popular. And we will be not communicating with the Arduino board itself, but with this module, which will send the data to the Arduino board over a uh, serial port. So our job is to replace the uh, connection part. And then uh, my robot head has its own Arduino script uh, inside that I, I don't think I will be changing. It has its own servo motors, basic instructions to, uh, to operate, and I will use them inside the app to, to talk to the robot head over Bluetooth from my web app. Hello, a few hours later, uh, as could have been expected, my initial enthusiasm that it will take not more than an hour uh, to make it work uh, was a bit uh, optimistic. It took a bit longer uh, to, to make the, all this stuff work for me, as I intended. Um, but as you can see, I managed to, to make this guy up and running. And it, it, it's, it's controlled now with my head movement. As you can see, I have the face tracking app uh, connected 
to the robot. Um, I can control the left and right, up and down. I can control the mouth. And the eyes, as the app does not have the uh, particular feature of the eyes, uh, are controlled with the head rotation.